everyone and welcome to another review. Today we're going to go ahead and review a fragrance that was released uh, last month, August 11th, or a little bit sooner than that, uh, from the House of Imaginary Authors. The fragrance we're talking about is called Slow Explosions. Now, Slow Explosions, it comes in a very simple box. Uh, I've never really, you know, took into the Imaginary Authors presentation, but it comes in what looks like a book and then you've got the actual fragrance here. Um, it's pretty much just a glass bottle, and it's got this pasted on the side, and it says Slow Explosions, and it also has the notes listed on the back of the fragrance. So, uh, it's pretty interesting in that regard, but not really much to write home about. Now, before I begin the review, I'd like to tell you right off the bat, I got this fragrance from the House of Imaginary Authors for free. They sent it out to me once it you know, was released. They basically said, hey, would you like to do a review on this fragrance? And they sent me the bottle for free, said, sure, I'm going to go ahead and review it. Now, I'm saying that because I'm telling you here, I'm going to be as objective as I possibly can. But I did get the fragrance for free, so I did not pay for it. So if you don't think that I can be objective, or if you don't think that, or if you think that my review is tainted somehow, no hard feelings, feel free, click away, you know, move on your merry way, basically, and there are no hard feelings between us. I feel that I need to say this a little bit more emphasized, even though I have been saying this in my reviews for the longest time, just because there's a little bit more scrutiny going on in the community and paid reviews, and when reviewers get th sent things for free. All right? So, that with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get right into the actual scent. Now, the scent, um, the notes are listed on screen. I have to say, this is one of the few fragrances that I heard about before I actually got a chance to go and try it on. And despite the fact that you know I had the fragrance set to me, I never really got a chance to crack it open as I was seeing reviews going through because I was moving at the time and my fragrances were packed away. I just taken it, thrown it in the box with the rest of my fragrances, and basically said, "Okay, I'll deal with it when I get there." Um, and I basically got a chance to see the reviews, which is really rare for me, before I got a chance to actually get it. And I have to say, I was pretty surprised that it was getting such rave reviews. I thought, "Okay, that'll be interesting." Um, and I stopped watching them after I watched, I think, two or three. So fast forward until I started doing the actual review, and I have to tell, I have to tell you, I was blown away by it. I was blown away because it does a lot of things right, and it does a lot of things right in ways that I wasn't expecting. So let's cover the first thing. The first note that really jumps out at me in this is rose. I normally do not like rose fragrances. If you look at my collection video, you will probably see like one or two rose fragrances, and the one or two rose fragrances that I had, I got rid of. I'm not a fan of rose generally, because I think it feels a little bit too feminine in my case, but figured I'd go ahead and try it. This one, the rose, comes off to me as a little bit more masculine, and it's because of the saffron that's in the actual scent, and the leather really gives it a masculine rose type of a scent. The closest kind of comparison that I really think with this kind of raspberry note is this Tom Ford uh, scent. I'm forgetting what the Tom Ford scent's name is at this point, but it reminds me of a little bit of that scent that I traded away. Um, in any case, those two, those three notes really, the saffron, the rose, and the leather really jump out at me, and they really form something that sounds like, or that feels like, a really masculine, a really masculine rose, and at the same time, really welcoming, a really inviting scent, and at the same time, sensual. I know that's strange. It's like welcoming, it's sensual, um, and it really comes across as something that's unique, especially unique to my collection. I don't have anything like this in my collection, so it was really a surprise when I actually got a chance to try this sucker on. Now, the other thing that really comes up in this that really gives it a nice little kick is that apple note. That apple note gives it a nice little citrusy vibe to it that, mm, it just gives it, I guess you could say, kind of like a playful feeling at the same time. So there's a lot of things that are going on with this scent, and all of them pleasant, to me at least. As the fragrance kind of moves along, it really kind of develops more, um, and it appears to gain strength to me. This is a fragrance that lasts about, I'd say about 10 hours on my skin. Uh, the, the least amount that it lasted was 6, the most that it lasted was about 14. So it lasted a good amount of time on my skin. This scent, before when I was unpacking my uh, fragrances, my wife, she noticed the fragrance on the counter. Uh, she picked it up, she said, oh, when did you get this scent? I said, oh, I got it for free, uh, it was sent to me by a company. She smells it, she goes, oh my god, this smells excellent, can I have this scent? So she wanted the scent as well, too. So that may be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on who you're talking to, but it feels to be just as appealing to women as it is to men. So I think it's a great unisex sense, scent for that matter. Uh, so 
you want to keep that in mind. I think this is a good fragrance for older people or people that are a little bit more mature in their years. So I would say about 25 plus. Um, I think this is a great scent to wear going out as a night out scent. I don't think that it's a good everyday scent. That's probably the one area that it really doesn't shine in. I, I think it's a little bit more for special occasions, special moments, but that may be my personal perception because I don't wear rose fragrances all the time, right? So when you're talking about compliments, this is a compliment getter on that because my wife has worn this and she was the one who actually got the compliments on this. Um, I got compliments in a more of a controlled setting. So I had to ask people what they thought of the scent. They thought, oh man, it was absolutely fantastic, magnificent, magnificent, but I didn't get any unsolicited compliments on this baby right here, right? So season-wise, I think this is a good fragrance when you start wearing for fall and for winter. I think this is a perfect time to launch the scent. Uh, August, you know, it's starting to get cool. This is the perfect time to go ahead and give this scent a try out. And as far as the you know longevity, the projection goes, like I said, the longevity uh, lasted me anywhere between six and like 12, 14 hours. But the performance, people can smell you a good couple, like six feet away. So it's not lacking in performance and not, it's not lacking in that aspect, all right? So if I'm gonna go ahead and give this fragrance a rating, I give this fragrance a rating a nine out of 10. This gets a high mark mainly because one, it just smells really, it just smells really good. Uh, I was being careful on the curses there just because YouTube started censoring some videos with certain curses in there. So I've got to watch my mouth a little bit more carefully this time. But anyways, it's a really good smelling scent. I think it does rose perfectly to the fact that it's dancing the line between unisex uh, fragrances. I think that it's a good scent for the fall and the winter. It's a good one to wear casually. It's a good one to wear, you know, uh, night out type of a scent. I would not wear this, or sorry, not casually. I would not wear this one to work or even really, you know, occasions basically where you're just throwing on a t-shirt and jeans. What I'm really trying to get at is you really want to wear this when you're dressed up a little bit more or you're going out and you're trying to impress, all right? The one negative that I would have for this particular scent is, or actually two negatives. One, you can't really find it out for, you know, a discount or anything like that. So you're paying a flat fee, which is fine. But the other, the other negative that I would have for this scent is that because of those scenarios where I think that you have to be dressed up with this, this can pass as a scent that um, is not as versatile as you possibly want it to. So its versatility is really what's hurting it, if you will. But at the end of the day, 9 out of 10, it's a great scent. I highly recommend it. And it, if you check my lists, my fall list, it was up there, I believe at number two for my niche scents. And so I am really excited to be wearing this one. It's been a long time since I've been excited for a fall fragrance to even come that close on that high on my list. All right, so that's pretty much it. Let me know what your thoughts are on Imaginary Authors Slow Explosions. And I'm really curious, all right? Thank you guys, take care of yourselves, and you guys have a great day.